Good morning, this is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist and a sculptor and a couple days ago I was messing around and I made a little park bench and I got a lot of compliments on it and a few people asked me if I wanted to make a video about it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that but I should tell you that this is, uh, is new to me and um, with anything uh, comes, uh, any kind of practice you do, things will get better. This will be the third park bench I've made and it's probably going to be somewhat rudimentary. But you still can learn from it and uh, use it. Um, for, before I start, I'm using polymer clay. This is Sculpey 3. It's a brand I prefer. And I need it to get it soft and uh, warm to my hand. And now what I'm doing is I'm just flattening it out a little bit. Just in a minute I'm going to roll it. And I've got uh, a little bottle here that I use to uh, roll clay. There. Right here. And uh, then I am going to use one of my business cards as a guide. And I'm going to cut the slats for the bench just by doing this and you're going to need uh, probably um, four, four slats for this little bench. I lay the slats out on the table and I want to kind of press them down a little bit and straighten them out Okay, and then uh, I'm going to decide on the length or, or the width of the bench and uh, cut off the slats so that they're all the same length, like that. There are tools that they have for cutting, uh, cutting polymer clay, um, and I don't do this type of thing very often, so I, I have not ever picked one up. Okay. Now we're going to create a template for the side of the um, for the side of the bench, the sides of the bench. So what you do basically is just take a small piece of paper like this and decide what kind of design you want and draw it out and then and then once you draw it out cut it out okay we've got the template on a little bit of clay here and we're just going to cut it out and we're going to make two of these One thing that you can do that will make things easier is if you keep the blade of the knife, um, whoops, if you keep the blade of the knife uh, straight up and down as you're cutting. And you're going to want to do that twice. Now once you've got your um, side pieces cut and everything, um, you can go and just smooth the edges out before you bake it and then lay everything out on a ceramic plate that doesn't have any texture on it and uh, you probably shouldn't bake this much more than these little pieces like this more than 10 to 12 minutes okay I've uh, Compl uh, complete the baking of my pieces and now I'm just going around uh, each one and just sort of cleaning it up a little bit. It's sometimes easier to do it after you bake it because it's such a small piece. These pieces are so small that uh, 
it might be kind of difficult to um, manage the soft clay at that point. So some after might be a good idea. And then uh, also when the when the bench is all assembled, uh, you can you can even go back and and clean up some more and and make things smoothed out and a little bit better. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I've got um, a little bit of clay to uh, support and hold the bench uh, steady. So I just stick it down in there and uh, into the clay, and all the way all the way down to the to the tabletop. Um, and then using uh, one of the uh, slats for the bench, I can see where to position uh, the other uh, the other side support. And uh, you just take a few minutes and and try to get this all lined up and the way you want it, and make sure that it's very sturdy. You can tighten up the clay around it if you want. And then uh, after you've done that, you should uh, have a plan for your slats. Just so you, you have an idea and you can remember where they're going to go and all that. Just kind of I have that planned out a little bit. And we'll do the seat first, and then we'll uh, flip it and do the uh, the back. I'm working here with uh, super glue gel. I really like the gel because it makes a bead, and it's not running all over the place and making a mess. I really like it a lot. That's what I recommend. And I uh, just opened it up, and you, you probably want to do your front slat first. There we go. And then once you've got that, on the the bead on there close it get your slat and place it on the beads and just hold it there for about 30 seconds and then uh, go ahead and do your other uh, slat and then hold that in place and then before you flip it to the side um, give it g give it about 10 minutes so the um, just to be sure that the super glue is holding and it's not going to come apart okay now that you've waited uh, a good 10 minutes for this to get kind of hard um, what I recommend doing is the clay that supported the side uh, support pieces um, it would it would probably release a lot better if you just took a knife and just cut it away. Uh, super glue here, and you do the top flat or the closest one to you first. Place it on and hold it down. For a good 30 seconds, and then uh, and then do the other slat. Let the bench uh, uh, cure for a good 10 minutes again for the back, so it becomes nice and solid. Okay, so when your bench is um, cured for a while, so the glue is good and solid, uh, you can take a, a knife and go around, or sand, light sandpaper, and just uh, kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, these benches are really rudimentary. It's really not my cup of tea to do things this way um, or to make things like this. But I got I got inspired a uh, a few days ago, and I made this little green bench uh, uh, just to to put in my own little gardens. And then I actually made another one. It turned out that the the green bench was uh, was. Uh, better better than all the benches actually it's probably better than this bench too maybe but it is very rough it, I think it's very rough but 
uh, I think you know if you take take some time with it and uh, sand it down and you know carve it and that sort of thing it would be a nice little uh, nice little bench and I, I put them in some of my gardens and you know uh, mostly I photograph my gardens I don't usually I don't sell a lot of my gardens I just photograph them for my uh, for my friends to you know send them out and that sort of thing sometimes I make videos a montage of photographs that sort of thing um, but I had put the green bench in a couple of my gardens and sent pictures out to my friends and and they really like the, they really like the bench and I do too so anyways uh, I thought I would go ahead and make the video but I do ask that you be patient with me on this because you know again this is not really my cup of tea I'm a more of sculpting from scratch and that sort of thing than uh, making parts and assembling them like this this is really not my thing but I think uh, I think I should at least share it with uh, the community here and and so people can try it for themselves thank you for watching and have a great day